your skin so brown And I want to sleep with you in the desert night With a billion stars all around Cause I got a peaceful, easy feeling I know you Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Peaceful Easy Feeling by the Eagles. What a beautiful, beautiful song this one is. We're going to be playing it in the key of D. It simplifies the chords greatly. The original recording is in the key of E, requires a lot more bar chords. If you want to play along with the original recording, though, pop a capo on at the second fret. I'm pretty sure I can hear one of the guitars playing exactly that way on the original recording, too. This song is included in the Justin Guitar Lessons and Songs app, which is full of awesome guitars karaoke for you it's got all of the guitar lessons as well but for a song like this it's so so nice to play along being able to strum along and have another guitar part doing all of those fancy lead lines and the singing of course you can turn the singing off if you want to sing along yourself a more advanced guitar players remember you can turn all of that off and just have a click track going so that you get the scrolling chords and the lyrics coming up but you're doing all of the hard work yourself it really is an amazing tool for beginner guitar players works wonders for your rhythm if you're struggling with your rhythm this app and playing along with the, the tracks is probably probably gonna sort it out so do go and check it out there'll be a link to the free trial in the description either on the website or on YouTube let's get stuck in and check out the chords so the intro is four bars on the D pretty simple there I am gonna take you through a few different options for the rhythm but first of all we're gonna suss out what all of the different chords are when we hit the verse we've got one bar of D one bar of G back to the D back to the G back to the D again back to the G and then two bars of A let me stick the chords into the lyrics there so you can see how it all fits together so starting on the D I like the G sparkling D chords G D against your G so A I want a G with you in the D chord G D with a billion G's all in A And then we're in the chorus Slightly different chord progression The chords for the chorus are two bars of G To two bars of D Back to G for two bars then to A for two bars. Then we got this little variation D for one bar, E minor for one bar, G to A, and then four bars of D for the choruses. Three and four. And let's stick the chords into them lyrics and see how it all fits together. Cause I got a G chord, easy D chord. I know you G let me A Cause I'm D minor already G chord A on the D As I mentioned before, there are a few different approaches to the rhythm here, and I'd encourage you to experiment and see which one feels best for you. The one that I kind of like the most is playing even eighth notes and putting an accent on beat two and four. So you're going one and two and three and four, and even consistent strumming, but then you put an accent on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Definitely, again, you want to be practicing that just with the muted hits. You can really hear when you've got the accent there. When the chord's there, it's slightly less obvious. You want to get into that feeling. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Making sure you feel nice and relaxed when you're doing it as well. That's really, really key. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's stick that into the chord progression. On the D. you in the 
Now, one of the things about that kind of strumming pattern is that if you use it the same all the way through the whole song, it can get a little bit relentless for the listener. Now, on the original recording, there's definitely a guitar doing that even eighth note strumming. It sounds fantastic, but there are lots of other elements on the original recording that kind of create interest and create dynamics within the track. So I would encourage you to ha at least have one different pattern between the verse and the chorus. Maybe that full-on eighth note strumming is what you use in the chorus, where it wants to be a little bit bigger, but maybe you go for something like Old Faithful for the verses. So just going down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. I like the way the sparkling earrings lay against your skin so brown. I want to sleep with you in the desert night. With a billion stars all around Cause I got a peaceful, easy feeling I know you won't let me down Cause I'm already standing can hear having just a couple of different strumming patterns really can make the song kind of work. Of course I'd encourage you to try other stuff as well. You might like trying picking out the bass note. This is kind of a country vibe. Uh, the bass part is doing that, playing the one and the three with the bass. So if you were doing a, you know... That obviously works great in the song as well. It's completely up to you. Again, it makes a difference if you're playing along with a track using my app. You can be a little bit straighter with the strumming and it feels more like the full production. If you're playing it on your own, you need to be a little bit more aware of the dynamics. I really hope you enjoyed this song. Plenty more Eagle stuff over on the website. You might want to go and check that out as well. And don't forget to go and check out the app. It really is an incredible tool for beginner guitar players or anyone struggling with their strumming who wants to work on, on their groove and playing along with a you know, band preparation you know not stopping while you're playing that kind of stuff really important skills that you can develop and the app is the best tool for that that you're going to find anywhere i swear to you okay i'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon you all take care of yourselves out there bye bye